welcome to the discussion today's discussion is nearest neighbor analysis the nearest neighbor analysis is a statistical technique to determine the pattern of the settlements whether the settlement patterns of over the space of the surface is clusterly distributed or there is regularity or there is randomness such types of calculations are made by the nearest neighbor analysis so it is a techniques to find out the degree of randomness of the distribution pattern of the settlements over the surface of the earth it is very much known to all of you that settlement pattern over the surface of the earth is irregular settlement units are not distributed in the same manner throughout the globe there are variations there are variabilities the settlement patterns over the globe is mainly controlled by the distribution of resources whatever today's discussion is to find out the nearest neighbor and its analysis so a nearest neighbor analysis is an approach to study a point line and area patterns in these approaches one makes test on measurements of distance between sample points and their nearest neighbors by comparing the observed mean distances with the expected mean distances pioneering work in this field in geography has been done by king and the deke in 1962 so for nearest neighbor measurements first we have to depend on settlement units so how to do this over the topographical sheets there are the distribution of settlements from this topographical sheet or from any other maps the settlements are first traced out here all the dots or all the square shape dots are the representative of settlements one dot means one settlement unit now these settlements units are to be demarcated how to demarcate the clustering settlement units the settlement units which are clusterly located or which are located very closely such units are to be demarcated so these are demarcations are done this should be done on the basis of the researcher's i estimation there is no any particular rule to demarcate these units after that the nearest neighbor of each demarcated area should be determined if this is the seven number of settlement units or hamlets this is the nearest neighbor of seven obviously this is not the nearest neighbor of this the nearest neighbor of this unit is that okay so such a way the nearest neighbor should be linked after that these distances are to be measured okay let us proceed for its tabulation work remember these are the settlement units i have written here r1 r2 r3 etc etc and these are the nearest neighbors of each settlement units okay now the nearest neighbor is determined now the distance from r1 to r2 that is nearest neighbor is to be find out how that should be done on the basis of scale of the map if it is a topographical sheet the scale is normally 1 cm to 
meter so on the basis of that scale the nearest neighbor distance may be measured one such table is given here but mind it the earlier photographs of map and this table is not original i mean to say this tabulation is not based on the earlier photocopy this is separate only to for, only for the better understanding i have given this now formula of nearest neighbor analysis this formula and its measurements are based on the earlier table okay not based on the first photograph but based on the earlier table the complex formula of nearest neighbor analysis is that n n a is equal to d observed by d run what is d observed that is written here d observed means observed mean value of the nearest neighbor distance so it is the mean value of the nearest neighbor distance the earlier table showed that the total nearest neighbor distance was 910 meter so by dividing the number of settlement in is that is 32 it is 28.44 where n is the number of settlement units that is 32 now d run is equal to expected mean neighboring distance the formula is 1 by 2 root over p that p is not a not simply p where p is equal to n by a n means settlement units and a means area how to find out the area area of the study actual this is actually assumed but from the uh, map by multiplying width and breadth we can find out the area of the study area that is why here it is assumed as 250000 square meter now d run is equal to expected mean neighboring distance at it is expected mean neighboring distance this formula is best the formula is created by the settlement geographers or special scientists on their on the basis of their good research on the basis of that formula the d run value is derived as 44.194 now n n is equal to d observed by d run so 28.44 is divided by 44.194 it is 0.6435 there are other formula also for finding the nearest neighbor value this is that now we have we have find the value but we need to analyze the result is in the following scale this is the scale of clustering uniformity and randomness zero means the value if the value derived as zero then it is clustered if it is 2.15 uniformly distributed if it is one it will be random but if the value is from 0 to 1 it will be the it will be considered as approaching cluster and it is if it is 1 to 2.15 it will be approaching uniform provided that the value of d run is significantly different from d observes otherwise the pattern should be considered as random okay so from our calculation it may be inferred that the value of nna is 0 to 1 so we can conclude that an approaching cluster distribution only when the difference between d run and d observe is attributed to the sans factors only so for that purpose we have to find out the test significance okay we are proceeding towards test statistics of nearest neighbor analysis it is possible to apply a significance test to nearest neighbor analysis to decide how probable is that the observed arrangement of points occurred at random or otherwise by chances from small sample size if the sample sizes are small normally the sample sizes are no uh, 
most of the time the sizes are small so we have to apply stress statistics for nearest neighbor analysis clarks and evans propose z test to indicate whether the observed average nearest neighbor distance was significantly different from the mean random distance the limit of which at these are actually tabulated value at 1% and 5% levels of significance it is 2.58 and 2.996 respectively at the end of the statistical book or end of the any, any practical geography such tables are appended so we have to find out whether how much the value it is for 1% and 5% levels of significance 2.58 and 1.96 respectively most of the time 1% and the 5% are not written very often it is written as 0.01 and 0.05 so this is the z statistic what is the formula d observed by d run by s e d that means standard error of d now standard error of d is equal to 0.26136 by root over np so this 0.26136 is constant and that constant value is derived from considerations of the radius of a circle of unit area okay uh, so this is the value which is derived from the radius of a circle if the area of the circle is 1 of the, then the radius will be 0.26136 so this is this is the ratio between area and radius of a circle most of the time so by root over np so how what is np n means number of settlement unit that is 32 and that p is this one that is given earlier so value derived 4.08375 now z test is equal to d observed by d run by calculating this formula by putting our value we will get that value minus 3.8579 for our sheet since the value of z test is less than 2.58 so it is less than 2.58 because the value uh, here it is the negative symbol it is statistically insignificant even at 5% level of significance hence the pattern of distribution confirms random distribution so it was earlier decided the value is random now it is confirmed by the test statistics of the nearest neighbor analysis that is a z test so it is now confirmed that yes the distribution for that sample is totally random for overall distribution of the settlements now is there any problem of nearest neighbor analysis there are many problems one there is the problem of defining and demarcating boundaries of any settlement earlier i, I told that it is very difficult to demarcate the boundaries of settlement there is evidence that the significance test is consistently biased towards finding significantly dispersed patterns these are very practical experiences that that the significance test is consistently biased towards finding significantly dis dispersed patterns so it is on biasness of the test statistics it does not distinguish between a single and multi cluster pattern there are different types of cluster pattern that is called single cluster pattern multi cluster patterns that cannot be distinguished from the nearest neighbor analysis study an extreme example of these might be a series of pairs of towns on other side of a river these pairs are some distances from the next making a linear pattern in the landscape in these cases because each town forms the nearest neighbor of the other town of the pair the index will be near zero this is on complexity that for the closely distributed settlement patterns of different administrative units though the settlement units are very close 
but administrative, administratively they are separate. But if there is a river, there are certain gap between the two settlement units, but the index value will be near zero. So that zero means the value towards cluster. The selection of the nearest neighbor is, neighbor is arbitrary. The choice of the second or third nearest neighbor is possible and might produce different results. That means by our eye inspection or eye estimation, we are thinking that A is near to B, not C, but it may happen that C is slightly near than B from A. So these are the difficulties for determining nearest neighbor and nearest neighbor analysis. Thank you. Hope you understand all.